In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my three predictions about Amazon FBA selling in 2019, so be sure that you stay tuned. Hey guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon and BS seller from beautiful San Diego. Thank you for being so awesome. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. I post weekly about Amazon FBA and other relatable topics about how to make money online specifically. In today's video, however, I'll be sharing with you guys my three predictions for Amazon FBA selling in 2019. Number one, more sellers. Now, I know that this sounds very scary for a lot of us Amazon sellers out there. That means, you know, there is a lot more competition. You know, about two and a half years ago, when I first started selling on Amazon, there was definitely a lot less sellers. But at the same time, there was a lot less buyers. So let's say if this been right over here, if there was only 10 sellers selling it, there was only 300 buyers buying it. Now, there's 20 sellers selling it, however, there are 600 buyers buying it, meaning the demand is about the same. Although the competition is more, but the, the demand also grew, and that has a lot to do with Amazon's exposure and Amazon's, you know, uh, 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 not just exposure, but actually, you know, acquiring new companies and also going into the retail sector, which actually takes me to... Number two is more marketplaces. Now, as many of you guys know, last time I checked, there was about 11 different marketplaces. Some of those are German marketplace, Canadian, Mexican, Spanish, Italian, um, Indian. Um, I think also there was Indonesian, Australian. Um, aside from the US, there are, I think, a total of about 11 different marketplaces. I believe that Amazon is going to open up for more marketplaces that way more countries around the world could actually order from Amazon. Also, what Amazon is going to be doing is allowing more sellers from different countries actually sell on Amazon, which is huge for us FBA sellers because I personally get a lot of sellers from, you know, uh, Pakistan or from Afghanistan or a few other countries in the Middle East trying to sell on Amazon and they have a very difficult problem, you know, um, actually uh, getting Amazon accounts, FBA sellers, or I mean, seller central accounts, you know, uh, because, uh, you know, Amazon simply restricts their countries from selling due to a few different complications, either banking, you know, uh, information or the type of IDs they carry or whatever the diplomatic, you know, uh, relations are between the countries. So I think that Amazon is going to open up the opportunity so for a lot more sellers to come in um, and try to do this. You know, they might still restrict it, but they will give them uh, some type of uh, uh, allowance to be able to sell, which means more opportunities, you know. So those two things tie up very much together and it helps us FBA sellers in the long run. Number three, overall more demand for us FBA sellers. And here's what I mean by that. If any of you guys have been watching, but Amazon is now expanding into retail. Amazon accounts for over 55% of the online market share, meaning over 55% of people globally purchase from Amazon.com. And then 45, the other people purchase from all the other tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands, if not millions of websites, right? And Amazon is continually to expand that. So there's another 45% that Amazon could grow into. However, Amazon only accounts for 5% of the retail market. And they are absolutely shifting that way. Now, you may wonder, how is Amazon going into retail benefiting us as FBA sellers? I will answer that question right now. I have so many people, and I'm pretty sure you also do the same, where don't even know that Amazon exists or have heard of it but never shopped on it or maybe have shopped on Amazon once or twice in their entire lifespan, right? But going into retail puts more eyes on Amazon because let's face it, there are a lot of people still that like retail, like to touch things before they buy them. Just a couple years ago before I started selling on Amazon, I never was convinced that I would sell, you know, buy something online. I just didn't know, I didn't trust the seller. I didn't know what type of material 
I always, you know, associated buying something online with cheap quality because maybe I was buying from the wrong websites or because maybe the quality before was cheap and now that a lot more people are shifting towards online, sellers are actually caring about their quality than just selling products, right? So putting Amazon in retail gives more eyes onto the whole platform or the whole company as a whole, which mean that there is going to be more shifting towards online shopping because the whole, uh, you know, the whole trend now is online shopping. So that just means more, you know, sales for us FBA sellers. Now, the question of the day, do you personally prefer shopping online or do you prefer shopping in retail in store? There's no wrong answer here, just trying to get your feedback. Once again, guys, Bashar to here, Amazon FBA seller from beautiful San Diego. If you guys found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel as I post weekly about FBA and other relatable topics, typically about making money online. If there's any topic you guys want me to cover, please drop it in the comments below. Aside from that, guys, Bashar Ketu here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.